The mother of Christina Morris is speaking out tonight about her daughter and the man who is convicted of kidnapping her. CBS 11's Gabriel Rojas sat down with Joni McElroy today after Enrique Orochi was sentenced to life in prison. Gabriel? Well, Doug, this has been a rough trial for all of Christina Morris's family members. And at one point, the judge actually barred Johnny McElroy from the courtroom because she would later be called as a witness. Well, now that she's free to talk to us, she opened up about her feelings. Enrique Arochi could have received only a few years behind bars. So when Judge Mark Rush sentenced him to life in prison for the aggravated kidnapping of Christina Morris, her mom's reaction was understandable. An answer prayer. An answer prayer. Not only for me, but for Christina and our family. But one prayer that remains unanswered is finding her daughter's remains. Johnny McElroy tells us she would have been fine with any plea deal for less prison time in exchange for a location. When that didn't happen, she says the family vowed to find Christina without any help from Orochi. We're going to find Christina. You know why? Because we're stronger than him. He's the weak one. After the sentencing, McElroy was able to give a victim impact statement and speak directly to Orochi. I will make sure so I take my last dying breath that she is remembered with dignity, dignity, respect, integrity, everything you are not, Enrique. And it was a sense of relief to finally tell him exactly how I feel about him, what he's done, and to let him know, you messed with the wrong family, buddy. Now as she moves past the trial, McElroy says she's grateful for a sense of relief this sentence has given her. And Victor, Enrique's taken enough from us. You know, um, no more. And with a life sentence, Orochi is required to serve at least 30 years before he would be eligible for parole. Johnny vowed in court today to be at every parole hearing to ensure that he never gets out of prison. We're live in McKinney. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News. Gabriel.